A subject that comes up a lot, especially at the woodworking shows when I'm out on the circuit talking to folks about sharpening and I'm teaching them how to sharpen their tools, is the subject of CBN wheels. CBN stands for cubic boron nitride, and they're very expensive. Well, why would somebody pay this much money for a CBN wheel? Because they're worth it. They do everything many times better than a regular uh, aluminum oxide or ceramic wheel, a traditional wheel that costs somewhere under $50. These things retail for very close to $200. Well, why would you spend four times as much money? Because you buy them once. You're not going to have to replace them. These wheels are not consumable to the average turner. They run almost dead cool. They're relatively low noise. They throw off very low spark. They never dish out. You never have to dress them, anything like that. And they always stay the same diameter. If you're the kind of turner that wants to mark your jig and that sort of stuff so you can always return to the same uh, particular setting, you can actually do it using CBN wheels. In addition to that, this set of CBN wheels has abrasive on the side. That means that you can get a dead flat grind on a skew if that's what you want. That's what I like. And I can grind all kinds of other things on the side completely safely. You might also notice there are no guards. The reason for that is the wheels are never in danger of exploding. These wheels are on a solid steel base and they're never going to come apart like your um, traditional composite abrasive wheels could. Lots of people sell CBN wheels these days. I'm recording this in uh, the summer of 2017. And at this point, you can buy a lot of these wheels. Uh, if you shop for them, you can get them from $125 to $150 each wheel. The two grits that I sell retail for $189.99 and at the show circuit we put them on sale for considerably less. There are two grits. There's an 80 grit and there's a 180 grit. On the 80 grit wheel I use that for reshaping tools. You've seen that in some of my other clips. And on the 180 I use that for freshening up the edge and for giving me that very very fine grind. The ones I sell here are listed under my own name, Ron Brown's Best, and they're a full inch and a half wide. I don't know any turners that have ever worn out a set of these. I not only sell them, I use them everywhere, and not just because I sell them. I use them on the woodworking show circuit. I have two shops. I use them in my uh, production shop, and I use them down here because they're the best, I never have to dress them, I never have to worry about them. For me personally, one of the biggest things since I'm married to a nurse is health. And you know as well as I do, when you grind on a regular abrasive wheel, there's this huge cloud of dust that comes off of a uh, traditional grinding wheel. And what I always did was take a big deep breath and hold my breath while I was sharpening, then walk out of this big dust cloud so I didn't breathe that stuff in and get silicosis and end up dying of lung failure. There's, there's no dust. There's no dust cloud with these. So in terms of acquiring CBN wheels, if you're a brand new turner and you're just starting out and you just got a lathe and you maybe only have one chuck with one set of jaws, then I wouldn't put the CBN wheels high on the priority list. But as soon as you have all the basics down, you need to think about stepping up to CBN wheels because they do everything better. It's an investment, but you'll save money and it doesn't take very long to do that. Plus, it just makes sharpening a whole lot more enjoyable. So where before I was, the jury was kind of out on CBN wheels, I am a huge, huge believer in CBN wheels now. If you have the budget to only get one, get the 180. The 80, you can actually 
uh, use your, your regular abrasive wheels, just take that big deep breath and walk out of the cloud. But for your normal, everyday, sharpening up an edge that's already the proper shape, the 180 will do just fine. I'm Ron Brown. Thanks for watching.